Hey, this is Corey with Sure. In this video tutorial, I'll cover the basics of organizing and managing your inventory view in Wireless Workbench 6. The inventory is one of the three main tabs of the application. It's basically a table with your devices and the channels as the rows and their common properties as the columns. When you're dealing with only a few items, you might not want or need to configure much in this view, but when you have a lot of equipment, Setting up a few things will make it easier for you to keep track of your equipment before, during, and after your production. So here I'm showing some online devices as well as some virtual devices. Equipment that's not networked but I still want to keep in my records. One of the first things you can do is add or remove columns to show the information that you want to see. Right clicking on any column will bring up the context menu with a list of the available columns. Like with most tables, you can also click on the column headers to sort the table in ascending or descending order, and you can drag the columns around to reorder them. Another way the inventory view can be organized is by these gray separators that are governed by this sort control. The default setting is by device type, so we see that the rows are grouped by mics, in-ear monitors, spectrum managers, chargers, and so on but you can also choose to sort the inventory by network when you have devices in multiple subnets. By RF zone if you're using equipment in disparate spectral environments, or you can get rid of all the separators and just use a regular table with the column headers. If you're using one of the settings with the dark gray separators, you can also flash the front panel of the hardware in that group by right clicking and selecting flash all. You might also want to consider color coding your channels and devices so you can more easily locate specific items. Right click on a row or multi select rows and then right click and choose assign color to view the color picker. This can be particularly helpful as this color will pervade the application being visible in tools like timeline, on channel strips and properties panel windows, and in other areas of the app that also list the devices. Lastly, you can also tag channels and devices to help group them according to criteria that make sense to you. This pairs nicely with the search bar found in multiple areas of the application. For example, you may be managing wireless systems for multiple backup singers and want to quickly and easily find them among all the other equipment in your list. First, you'll want to make sure that the Tags column is visible in your inventory. Then, click on Tools and select Manage Tags. Here, you can add, rename, and delete tags. We'll add backup singers, and then close the window. You can double click in the tag field to select one or more tags to a channel or device, or use the item property sidebar to add tags to multiple channels simultaneously. Now when you type a tag in the search bar above the inventory table, the inventory is filtered to only those channels. The same is true for other lists throughout the application. So there are several tools for customizing your inventory view, and a few of which you may want to use to help you throughout the application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up below. Also, let us know in the comments below if you'd like more or different tutorial videos for Wireless Workbench. Thanks.